We can't base AI laws on imagined risks. We've heard endless calls to do something about AI, but politicians are still basing their thinking on risks they assume are real, not the ones we know about, writes James Boyd Wallace. AI has huge potential, it's helping people walk again, discovering new drugs and detecting cancer earlier, but there are still concerns. Goldman Sachs reported generative AI could replace 300 million jobs, while Matt Clifford, helping the PM set up an AI task force, said it could kill many humans in two years. The warnings keep coming and people are shouting for action. We need to figure out what's safe and not and put limits in place for the latter. The aim should be sensible rules that give flexibility between different industries and uses. Say, retailers who want AI to help recommend the best outfit don't need to be regulated like healthcare providers. This middle ground could help maintain the UK's position as a global AI leader, but only if the PM resists calls for bigger regulation based on assumed risks. If we rush to regulate, we might jeopardize innovation, and all the benefits AI can bring. Governments don't make thoughtful policies out of fear. So there needs to be a wider discussion about how organizations use AI and its accompanying opportunities and challenges. Thanks for watching. And visit our website for more AI news.